common question that people have reached out to me for consulting is how much of Python is needed to be a successful DevOps and cloud engineer. Now, Python is very extensively used. It can be used to program on Windows and Linux, so it's quite popular. And because it brings a lot of data engineering packages, pandas and uh, NumPy and stuff, so it's used in the AI ML and those space pretty much everywhere. So it covers all the things. If you are writing a Lambda function uh, or Azure functions, uh, then Python is usually a go-to uh, library. But should you uh, learn Python end-to-end? -end? How much time should you spend? That's a very debatable thing. As much as you know is very, uh, you know, genuine answer that, you know, as much as you know Python, it's good. But that takes two months, three months of uh, at least uh, that duration, but you don't want to spend that much, right? Even I wouldn't suggest you being uh, learning Python because <clears throat> that makes you a bit of specialized in Python and DevOps and cloud is not a stream for specialization. It, it's more of a stream for uh, generalization where you need to know a lot of things at high level. So in same applies for Python as well. You don't need to learn that much that a developer has to, even if that means that to some of the job opportunities go away, that's fine. If they are looking for somebody very experienced in Python, then they don't need a DevOps engineer. They're looking for a, a Python developer. So you have to let it go. Now, how much um, do you need to know? How do you justify that? Uh, I, I would suggest spend maybe a week or uh, two weeks, identify some two or three good use cases. I'll explain you those uh, use cases as well. What those three or four scenarios that you can build? And if there is any, any uh, question related to do you know Python? How much do you know Python? You just explain those use cases. That's that's very common. Like I keep repeating this on my channel that build these three or four use cases. Build a bit of Lambda function uh, or Azure function using Python. Uh, make sure it's making a call to a third party API or something that that's a very good use case or it could be uh, switching on switching off uh, EC2 instances at a scheduled time or something like that. <clears throat> that's one of the use case. Then you should be able to start a program uh, in Python. You should be able to write a program from scratch. You don't need to look for what sort of libraries you have to include and what indentation it uses. You should be able to identify what version of Python is available on the machine and being able to start a basic program. Rest of the things, depending upon the logic and depending upon the situation, you can Google it, chat GPT it, or whatever is the situation. Uh, you should be writing a standalone program, uh, which is uh, to again to make an API call. It's not a Lambda function this time. It's a standalone call um, to make an API call to say Jira or, or Jenkins and get some information, print it into a log file or uh, that sort of thing. That's your third use, second use case. Then comes a third use case where you are using Python to do some sort of number crunching, some sort of uh, data analytics. Again, don't have to go really, really deep into it. Build a small project where you are using NumPy or Panda to predict something or apply that uh, that logic of uh, that library. So these are three things. If they ask you any question, depending upon what kind of employer it is, if it's a startup, mention about the uh, the Lambda function written in um, Python. If it's a banking or financial company, not so much into uh, the serverless yet, then go for a standalone uh, program. You can even go to go on and containerize that uh, that Python app. So you know that how containerization works for a Python uh, based application. So in that scenario, containerization plus a standalone uh, Python program is what you should be explaining. <clears throat> if at all the job description has a data analytics point of view, data analytics angle, then go on and explain the third use case. And building these three use cases is not very difficult. It would probably take you less than a week's time or at, at most uh, a week's time. And this would give you um, good enough knowledge on Python. That's about it. That's the level of Python you should know. Anything beyond that is an overkill because there are a lot of other things in DevOps and cloud that you need to learn. It's not just Python that will differentiate you uh, from other uh, 
technical requirements. So focus on the other aspects also. As I mentioned, it's a field of knowing a lot about different things, different tools, technologies. Now this will safeguard you from knowing other Node.js or you don't need to spend learning all those Node.js, Java and all those sort of thing. You mentioned that since you can do these activities in Python, you can probably scale on the other languages also. So it safeguards you from learning a lot of other things. <laughs> I hope that uh, clarifies and if there is still any doubt, you can always comment and I will try my best to answer those uh, comments. See you in another uh, video.